So we're here at uh, Kala Car Audio and uh, we're going to discuss the various uh, 3M options. Uh, the one that we put on my car uh, to armor it up for the 3,000 mile trip and uh, they're nice enough to uh, describe this process to you and I hope that this will uh, help you out in some fashion. Go ahead sir, you let them know. All right, so for Mr. Kirk, we did uh, two different things. We did the 3M Scotch Guard Pro paint protection film on the exterior. We covered the full hood, full fenders, full front bumper. Uh, then we did the pillars as well as a portion of the roof and the back of the mirrors. The material is uh, thicker than a normal vinyl. It's a, actually a self-healing film and it has full UV protection. So it's going to make your paint to where it's protected not, not only from contaminants, but also from rock chips and road debris. Uh, it's applied, it's a very clear uh, material and once it's applied on there, you can't really see it very well unless you see seams on it and that's why we covered the full hood fender bumper uh, so you don't have any seams. It's less likely to uh, have any peeling effect as well um, and it comes with a 10 year warranty. So not only is it gonna protect your paint, it's gonna make it look a lot better and then when you go to get rid of the vehicle, it should help your resale value as well because the paint will look brand new underneath. As far as the rest of the car, we did the 3M Ceramic IR window tint, and we did that on the full vehicle. And that is going to give <clears throat> the vehicle uh, upwards of 78 to 88% infrared blocking, 99% uh, UV blocking, and we'll keep the car somewhere between 50 to 60% cooler uh, while driving. So it makes a huge, huge difference, especially in a hybrid vehicle where you're trying to make um, fuel and efficiency is top priority okay can we uh briefly let's let's discuss the various options for my 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 viewers uh that are available i went with uh i guess the third third one here correct uh we could have gone to the the crystalline uh, but we we talked about that so maybe if you could just describe to them these options and, and what they might want to think about if they wanted to do this process for their cars well, certainly um the, the ceramic IR is kind of a best performance, best bang for the buck film. I recommend it to everybody that comes in. It is a great looking film. It comes available in the shading that's legal for our state for the front and rears. Uh, so you can get it as dark as you possibly can. Um, and it, it's going to block the majority of the infrared coming through and the UV. So it does give it a, a really good performance level when it comes to overall heat rejection. When you get into the crystalline film, it is a Let's different Let's take a technology. look at that one here. This is, you can pause right there if you want to read about it. This is the crystalline, okay. Now crystalline yeah. is 200 nano layers of film that are all sandwiched together thinner than a post-it note. And it works on what they call refracting technology. Um, I'm not going to say I'm an expert on it, but I can tell you that instead of absorbing and holding heat like some of the ceramics do, um, or blocking just a, a, a short, a smaller amount of it like a carbon does, crystalline is actually working at different angles on each nano layer. So when the light hits it, it reflects and refracts it in different uh, directions, kind of like a diamond does. So instead of absorbing or holding or allowing it to go through, it sends it outwards and away. And that keeps you much, much cooler inside the vehicle. Uh, and it can block up to 97% of the infrared. So it does a big, big difference for you. Yeah, a lot more expensive though. That's why we went it, with the with does. the lower uh, Yeah, it's a more size expensive here. film to us. It's a, a little more difficult to do the installation as well. Uh, it takes more time. And when you're dealing with a film of that nature, you want to be meticulous, take your time, make sure it's done right. Because uh, you don't want to have any flaws and have to replace anything. All right, so I guess uh, make, make me feel good here. I mean, I'm doing this 3,000 mile trip. Uh, I was trying to armor the car up. We already had, I mean, I, I don't know how many nicks that you found, but it looked like I'd already had some, some rocks hit the, hit the paint and you had to touch that up, uh, which is surprising because I've only got 1,000 miles on the car. Imagine putting another 3,000 on there and especially in these, um, well, northern states where the roads aren't quite as good as they are here in Florida, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you think that this was the right thing to do for a new car? Absolutely. Um, I mean, there are a number of things that you can do, but paint protection film in my mind is the, is the best thing you can do for the chips and the road debris and, and, and damage that you can get to your paint. Ceramic coatings are nice, and we're actually going to be getting into doing ceramic coatings. 3M is going to offer it from their product lineup. Um, but they're more for contaminants and the rain and the hard waters. They protect the paint from oxidation, but they don't protect it from physical damage. 
Um, so you can use a combination of the two. Do ceramic in some areas, do paint protection in others, and you can even ceramic coat paint protection film. So there's so many different things you can do, and something that I was very happy to do on yours, and I'm glad you uh, decided to go with it, was we covered your fog lights and your headlights, uh, which are plastic yeah. and porous, and they can yeah. fog and turn that kind of uh, yellowy, browny color over time, and that's right. actually bacteria buildup that you have to sand down and polish, and it's just yeah. such a pain to do it to get it back to where you can see well this will actually protect them over time from the uv damage from the bacteria you can peel that film right off and look brand new right underneath well the other thing that i thought about was uh especially if i when i get to michigan you know the bug strikes mm -hmm. you said the bug juice would be a lot easier to come off with this coating than it would be just on a regular paint job uh, is that correct well absolutely when you look at a, a, anything under a, a magnifying glass you'll see that it, you're the magnification you're going to see all the imperfections and your paint actually looks more like a golf ball as you're looking down towards it under a fine magnification so it's very porous and lots of holes lots of things for the bug juice to adhere to the paint protection film it gives it more like a slick kind of a, a, a teflon coating so to say that you, when the bugs hit it it will allow you to wipe that right off very very easily and you don't have to do a lot of scrubbing for it yeah, and, I, and that's another thing, you know, because I, I did a video recently on how much is your time worth, <laughs> you know, and so think about it over the years, I'm probably going to keep this car for 10 years. I mean, the amount of time that I'm going to save just cleaning it, you know, should should be, you know, worth the price in, in my mind. Anyway. Oh, absolutely. It makes okay. a huge difference. And, and something that a lot of people don't think about is if you leave the bugs on there for a short period of time or a long period of time, the acid from their remains can actually cause damage to your paint over time this film will protect you from that as well all right all right well like now i guess uh, we'll finish it up here with a promotion okay because <laughs> i was going to go with some competition of yours okay. and i uh, but you guys agreed to, to do this video and uh, they wouldn't do it so i didn't like the lack of transparency in, in this other business, I, of course, I can't name them. I don't want to be sued mm -hmm. for anything, but why are you better than the competition? Well, I, I don't ever like to say that we're better, and I damn sure don't like to, to say anything bad about competition in any way. It's, right. it's good, it's always good for business, but we like to say that we try to do things um, to a different level. We okay. sell higher end products. If you take a look around our shop, you'll see that it's a higher level of shop in most places that you go in that sell car audio right. and, and window tint and window film. We're a 3M pro shop dealer, and to get there, you have to be specialized not only in the products you carry, but where you install it, and the people that install it have to be trained very well to do so. So there's a lot that goes into it, and uh, great. I think that's one of the reasons why we are a great place to come. Well, I'm and gonna... uh, I think you'll always be happy with your products. All right, I'll tell my listeners, I think this is the place to come if you're going to do what I did and armor your car up for a 3,000-mile trip. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time, sir. Kurt, thank you very much for your business. Come see us anytime. All right. So, just kind of want to tie this uh, video off. Uh, man, I tell you, that was great of them guys at Akala Car Audio to, to make that video for me. And, uh, and uh, I think they did a fantastic job. I feel really good. Uh, they, they, you know, we didn't get it on the video, but they pulled me aside afterwards. There were a couple more things to think about. He said, be sure and uh, keep the car out in the heat so that that film will uh, bake onto the paint real well. Um, and so, of course, I'm going to do that. I, otherwise, I would have put it in the garage, you know, so we don't want to do that. Um, and then the uh, the, <laughs> the owner came out because I said, what makes you guys the best? I didn't mean to put him on the spot. I was just saying, you know, what distinguishes you from the competition? And I would say it's their attention to detail. Um, they come highly recommended uh, by a lot of people in this area. Um, you don't get that kind of reputation unless uh, you're doing a good job, you know, for people. Uh, and, and just the amount of people. I mean, oh my goodness. You should have seen it when I first got there today. It was just slammed with people in there. So they, uh, they stay busy. He could he could probably hire a few more people <laughs> to work there. And uh, he, he did say he's very meticulous about the, uh, the people that work for him. Um, and that's a sign of a good owner. Uh, so I, I guess I, I just can't sing the praises uh, for Akala Car Audio. Um, and and they, they also detailed, they went above and beyond for me to get my car uh, done. Evidently there was some, some problems with some... Uh, 
oily film on the uh, paint and uh, they had to go on an extra nine yards to to polish it uh, which they don't usually have to do uh, and didn't charge me any extra you know so I appreciate that I I because uh, I, I don't even know how I'm gonna pay for it <laughs> as it is you know by the time you buy a new car and you uh, you pay the, the, the sales tax now we getting delayed again yes I can't believe it uh, I definitely you know want you guys to tune into the car care nut uh, I just watch him because I, I like him he's entertaining um, but one of the things that he pointed out I noticed that the tire pressure sensor is on now I've looked at the tires I haven't checked the pressure which I will do later on I right now I'm out getting my exercise at guess where Santos trail woohoo and uh, so I figured because it's on my way home from the um, Ocala car audio uh, so now what do I got to do well what the car care nut was saying is I could go to a local dealer around here um, but really you should take the car back to the dealer where you bought the car so where did I buy the car in, in Homosasa Homosasa Florida so I'm gonna it's gonna take another whole day out of my time uh, it's I'm sure it's just the sensor in the tire that's that needs to be replaced and uh, but it's important what I was saying was the car care night pointed out that it's important to go back to the dealer where you bought the car for service like that you know now do I really care no there's some great uh, hiking down where the uh, the dealers at there in Homosasa so we'll uh, hopefully get a get a video down there you know this time I'll be prepared I'm gonna take all of my hiking equipment and I, I actually know the trail I want to do is the trail I tried to do the last time but the flies were all over me so this time we'll be prepared for them and I uh, will get a video of that and so uh, so you know you make a you know, that's what I'm one of the things I've been pointing out in my videos is your time you know we'll, we'll make a nice day out of it <clears throat> and uh, let them fix the tire pressure sensor but you know once again I'm delayed on the trip so this is you know these are the things you got to do people to, to get ready for a big trip I mean it's uh, you don't just hop in the car I mean I know some people do and a lot of times it works out for them but uh, you know look at me you know that nice two thousand dollar repair plus a hotel room that was costing me a hundred dollars a night you know for for three or four nights because you know these days with the, the supply chain you, you might be somewhere for a while before they can fix your car I'm gonna tell you with this just in time uh, car parts coming in so uh, that's where we stand so it looks like another week that uh, is gonna go by I have to call the dealer today's uh, Saturday just so you know and so I'll call the dealer Monday and uh, try to get the car in there and see if they can work me in to fix the tire pressure. Assuming they have a tire pressure sensor in stock, who knows? These days they, they, they might just say, well, you know, it's going to take three or four days for us to get a sensor in for your car because it's so new. Uh, you know, but uh, anyway, I'm feeling good about the tenting. I think that was very important because if I sleep in that car, you know, that'll keep it a lot cooler. Especially here in Florida that should uh, save the interior and pick up keeping that car Hopefully for about 10 years as long as I'm not in an accident and uh, I'm feeling good about the film on the front and uh, I guess that's a uh, oh That was another thing that they told me uh, was don't don't roll down the windows <laughs> I would I would have rolled them windows down for sure because that tenting uh, There could be some moisture between the uh, the tenting and the window and uh, you got to let the uh, the nice hot Florida Sun uh, really you know get that uh, moisture out from in between because you don't want to peel that that tenting off of the windows um, so I guess that'll finish up this video uh, you know once again I, I guess if you get a new car I, I recommend it I mean it's it's a huge expense in addition to buying a new car but uh, hopefully you're like me I mean how often do you buy a house you know I we lived in our last house 20 20 five years or whatever it was 20 years and so in, in how often do I buy a car you know once every well, this one I'm hoping a uh, will last me you know, 20 years I don't you know I, I don't as long as it you know not in an accident I'll, I'll drive it till it just explodes you know all right man you guys uh, peace out and I guess uh, be free well let's add a little something to the video always good to see the turtles and I see a lot of turtles along the Santos trail here look at him he's they can actually move pretty quick I mean you'd be surprised 
and uh, I guess he's pretty used to, to human beings because I'm not scaring him at all but I just wanted to add a little little wildlife to the video for you okay let's get this on the video check out that butterfly he's been following me for a while I figured he wants to be on the video isn't that beautiful there he goes Woo. all right man I'm telling you we're getting the wildlife on the way back check him out that's a different turtle he's just moving along oh no I didn't scare him I thought maybe I scared him all right cool oh we got to get this guy look at that look at that spider holy moly imagine that in your face holy moly can you get him up close all right man oh man oh man that would be so 